So Marvel Snap's newest card is Symbiote Spider-Man, and I really liked this one today. Number one, it felt really powerful, and number two, uh, I was just winning a lot in this deck, and it's very fun to win. Particularly, it felt amazing in this list because this is a Black Panther Artem Zola combo deck. So with Symbiote Spider-Man, you can play this on turn four, play that Black Panther on turn five, then combine them together. I actually think it's smarter to wait until turn six, which I don't do all throughout this video. I kind of figured that out halfway. On turn six, combine them together. That jumps up to a 28 power card, which of course then if you Artem Zola, they copy again and become 56 and 56 power. Now you can do this in the past with Wong. You can do this today with Wong as well, because he's also in this deck. Sometimes those Wong hits could be a little bit bigger if, you know, you played Wong into Black Panther into Arnim Zola. Sometimes you'd have to hit the Wong first off that Arnim Zola. It was kind of a 50-50. And if you hit the Wong second, your Panthers would only get up, I think, to 32 or 64 if you hit that Wong first. But the Symbiote Spider-Man kind of gives you that really reliable, solid 56, which is clearly enough to beat pretty much anything uh, as long as you don't get, you know, Shang-Chi or Shadow King, that is the one very obvious weakness in this list. You have an armor here, which can kind of help. I thought about putting a Cosmo in to help as well. You know, that prevents that second activation of the, uh, the, the Symbiote Spider-Man going up to 56. He'd be stuck at 28, which um, would probably be fine if you wanted a Cosmo. He felt extra safe with Cosmo, but can be a little bit disruptive. But also, since we got that Wong in there, as a redundancy piece, because sometimes you don't draw a Symbiote Spider-Man. That happened to me many times today. The new card, Curse. I never draw them when I need to. So Wong's a backup plan. You've also got White Tiger in here as a backup plan. And don't sleep on Symbiote Spider-Man into White Tiger. It's actually a pretty great line that you can still Odin or Arnim Zola. It's not as good as Wong with Odin, but it's pretty great with Arnim Zola because that White Tiger Symbiote Spider-Man combo becomes seven power. So when you copy that and, you know, disperse it with Arnim Zola, you're actually still getting, you know, a seven power card and a seven power card, whereas a base white tiger, you're not very excited to copy that one power. So giving that little stat bonus to Arnim Zola. So not as good as Black Panther, but still a nice little line. And as far as the, uh, you know, top half of this deck, since you have such a great defined win condition, I basically just wanted disruptive stuff in the top half. You kind of want to get this out of the way of your combo. You know, you want to isolate a location. All of these in one way or another can mess with your opponent. Uh, in some pretty big ways. So just adds that nice baseline of consistency to this really nice top end uh, win condition where you're trying to piece together, you know, any of these two, four drops, five drops, and six drops to find yourself a win condition. And again, don't sleep on Wong, White Tiger, Odin either. That can just straight up win games as well. So I had a great 14 and four run with this deck, which is sort of 73.7% win rate, but there was one tie in the mix, which makes the percentages weird on untapped. So... Uh, really good run up a bunch of cubes as always you know there are bot games in the mix this is the first day of a new season so i don't think i played that many bots i tanked my mmr right before the end of the season with that uh that destroyer combo deck so i think i had less bots but probably like four or five wins were or bots there so maybe really like 10 and 4 or something on the legitimate win rate but still a great climb great run with this one and um, i like that it combined old school stuff with this new school card that felt very very good and i will say too i saw people playing this in a lot of fun and interesting ways today so far my first impressions are that simian spider-man looks really good i think this card has so much potential we'll uh we'll keep trying more fun ideas throughout the week to see how it fares elsewhere but it felt really really good in this symbiote panther deck dude where is symbiote spider-man where where in the world is symbiote spider-man Sandman turned off. Sandman's not really good against us, though, so that's probably not that important. Uh, oh, baby, here he is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, we just need a five drop now, right? Hopefully Black Panther. I haven't had a lot of fun Black Panther games, so really love to see a Black Panther game. Hopefully right is not a problem for us either. Uh, not really a problem. All right, hear me out. We're going to put Wong here. Then we're gonna put Spider-Man mid. Feels super weird to throw away a Wong, but uh, I think we will. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it anyway. 
I mean, in theory, if we drew an Iceman, I could put Wong here for that, like, final pop-off on the Spider-Man. Dude, that actually is kind of cool. So, like, you, you do this, you still play Spider-Man right, and then you, you know, you hit your five drop or whatever. Hopefully Black Panther is the dream. Yeah, we have a couple turns to hit it. Uh, yeah, I actually like this. This is kind of fun, dude. It also makes them think a lot about White Hot Room still, too. Like, wait a minute, what's he doing here? What's he cooking on? Uh, oh, Super Scroll Wong is scary. <laughs> Mobius, yeah, no, we're just gonna do this like we said. We don't care about super flow anymore. We have like five six is what we want to hit Sadly, it's true. If we don't hit our five drop, we're kind of cooked But I've got a two out of five to hit a good five drop. I really want to see that black panther in particular 20 percenter here white widow doesn't seem like it would be worth it to me Although I guess a white widow mobius isn't like the worst turn i've ever seen Uh wasp and pig. What was that pig again? Oh, yeah, the sand man. <gasps> Oh so I don't think we have any reason to pop these off early, right? Like, there's no reason to. I, I think I did that a few times early on, but I've since learned my lesson. There's just no advantage to doing it early because this stays out of Shang-Chi problem. By mighty hand. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, forever. Do we beat, like, a blue marvel? Probably because of the Wong? Oh, my God, dude. Uh... Oh god, I don't know, dude. This is scary. What the, the Iron Man Tribunal can't happen. Oh god. I don't know. <laughs> oh god. I'm really nervous now. What is gonna happen? This is not a bot either, by the way, I don't think. I thought it was at first, but I don't think so. I feel like they're playing okay. They, they kind of filled up left, but that was by design, right? I mean, Iron Man and Tribunal is 11. They, they do have nine energy. Like an Iron Man definitely wins right, but how do they win mid and left in that case? 56 mid feels safe because they don't have anything there, even if they did like a blue Marvel. I mean, I guess maybe like a blue Marvel into a Ultron or something. That's too expensive again, too. There's the blue Marvel. Yeah, maybe like a Shauna. Ultron, it's not. Surely they don't have 56 mid, do they? No, no, no. Okay, we're fine. It's not that much. Okay, we're fine. Oh my God, this game is crazy though, dude. This game is actually crazy though. Like, I'd be so mad to lose this game right now. Dude. I would be so mad if I were them. Oh my God, it's a crazy game. 112 left and a chill 56 mid. Yeah, Blue Marvel's not that big. Okay, 32 is nuts out of thin air, like for sure. But it's not, not, uh, not 56. Okay, that is an amazing game. Yeah, that is a very cool game. This deck exactly in action. The the Wong bonus here is pretty cool. I mean, I guess it would have been enough anyway, right? They only got to 41, but uh, it seems scarier than it was. Need of a Leer. Ooh, we're close. I'm so happy, dude. This is, this is going to be the sickest thumbnail. It's so simple, too. It's going to be one of my faster thumbnails. Just take the, the Spider-Man logo on the chest and slap it on Black Panther, and it's job done. But it's going to look so sick, dude. I'll probably have some webbing coming out of his wrists, too, but uh yeah that's gonna be a great thumbnail i don't i don't feel like i've used black panther enough in thumbnails he looks so cool he's, he's a prime thumbnail target for sure so yeah here we we definitely prefer the arnim zola I, i'm actually not even really I, i've talked about odin probably three times this video already or depending on when you watch this maybe you'll hear me talk about odin a few more times i don't know i i i, I just don't i don't think i can cut i don't think i can cut Odin because Wong White Tiger Odin is just very good. It's it's shockingly underrated for such an early game, early collection combo. I, I think it needs to be there, but today for sure I'm I'm trying to prioritize Spider-Man, Black Panther, Artem Sola. No no doubt about that. Now I will say left that's a little bit exposed because you can get a lot of power left anyway. So I don't know. We may have some trouble on that. It might be so big that it doesn't matter though. They went pretty early on their Venom, I'll say left. Like Venom can be crazy and need a little late. Oh, we hit it. Um, so this is gonna be an interesting line we've never done before where we, we wait on the, uh, I guess in theory we should be doing that more often where we wait on the activation on the Spider-Man until turn six so that they both get buffed by Stark Tower and you stack the buff sooner. It also just plays around Shang-Chi a little better, although I guess not in this specific case because Black Panther goes to 10, but in normal games, maybe you wait on the activate till turn six. I've kind of just been doing it when I play the Panther, but I, it doesn't really matter. There's no reason not to do it on six. You may see me do that wrong in the future. 
maybe not always wrong, but his priority. Well, I guess from priority standpoint, it doesn't really matter. Oh, bro. I, oh, they copied the venom. Oh, we have a problem. I definitely need to change my Both Null and Venom are gonna be huge. Oh crap. I mean we actually technically can still get big enough, but I don't know. How big's Null, dude? I mean I guess the first one had seven, next one had twenty-one. I mean, if that's all they've got, we're fine, but there's still a lot of ways to get extra stuff here. We're gonna have fifty-six, sixty-one, sixty-nine here. They're on a couple small bodies. Although, I, I don't know, they gotta win two spots. Like, like right is free. Arnim Zola, you know, we just give them right for free, so. Hopefully they commit a little bit more right. Although they don't really know what our Spider-Man is yet. Like certainly Mobius, I don't think signals anything. So hopefully, yeah, they did commit a little bit right. I think that's good news. Hopefully that Wolverine does not go left. That creates some, some unfortunate breakpoints for us, I think. Bub. Like they're too close there now, dude. They're too Wakanda close. Forever. All I think if they go. commit to winning, I, I think if they commit to winning uh, left, I, I think we'll be cooked. I don't think we have it. I mean, we'll try anyway. So we do this first before the Zola's played. We'll try, but I think we got trouble, dude. I, I didn't actually count right, by the way. It's going to be 18, 36, 72. Let's go. Victory. Okay, they didn't have it, dude. It was actually gonna be 72 plus five is 77 plus eight is 85. So yeah, I mean, they still had a long way to go. This is actually crazy, isn't it? Dude, nobody, I never get to see the combo completed because every time people retreat and they don't have the answer, which makes sense as they should. Yeah, they would have to play a lot here to beat that. I mean, I, I guess if they had a null, maybe. How big was a null gonna be? Wolverine was another two that got destroyed. Okay, well, that's that's three cards, man. Professor X is kind of dead to us, though, so we just maybe don't play this. This is my second time hitting the Professor X there. That's kind of close. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's just dead. Uh, is this a bot, by the way? Edwin kind of looks like a bot, yeah. I can't really say for sure. Magneto coming down at the wrong time could be weird. Oh, my God. Is that... Does that help us at all? Like, it's... it's doesn't really hurt us, right? Like, it doesn't ever disrupt us because we can still just Panther, Zola, always right. Uh, I, I think that's fine. We just have some extra dudes floating around, right? Extra Panthers floating around. Extra Arnim Zolas floating around. I don't think it hurts anything. Maybe we just Symbiote Spider-Man on the final turn? I don't know what's going to happen here, actually. We're skipping turn four, I'm, I'm pretty certain, always. there's You don't even play like Wong. It, it messes up your, your Spider-Man. Uh, oh, we just play Panther, though, I guess. Okay. Little little exposed, perhaps, to show that early, but, but not necessarily. Oh, my God. You could go White Tiger, too, but I don't think we want to. We don't activate this one yet. We need to see what happens first, I think. There's no reason to. It's just There's no other cards currently. Could be like goblins or something, I guess. But uh, Jubilee. Okay, their board is going to be like super full here. Their devil definitely feels like a no, bot deck, yeah. but I mean, they're playing fine so far for a bot for the record. Like, just building the curve, nothing weird. Jubilee is kind of weird since they're London, but not that weird. Okay, so Wakanda we can send me Spider-Man this Black Panther now. That's fine. Uh, but I think we just pass this turn otherwise, right? Like, there's no... There's no reason to do anything else. I mean, I guess you can play these mid. It's kind of low risk, right? Well, no, because there's going to be multiple Arnim Zolas going off. I don't know if that's true. No, we just passed. The bot is going to be so confused. <laughs> Daredevil sees nothing. All they did is play Spider-Man. So that's a 44 power to be in Spider-Man already. They also passed for Sunspot. Okay. So there could be some fun little fireworks here, I guess. Like a lot of... No! Victory. Was it really a bot, dude? No. Bot. This is going to be so fun, dude. So this was going to send 56 at 56, right? Then Arnim Zola was going to copy to one of these spots. Hopefully left. So that um, we still had some power and we could win all three spots, you know, like that'd be a little bit better against like a Shang-Chi or something. Although obviously they had Shang-Chi, I don't think they're retreating. And then, you know, the Arnold's goes off and it hits either the 56, which sends 112 and 112, or it hits the 44, which sends 88 and 88. Clearly, clearly we are in a very good position here. Sad to, sad to, to lose that to a bot game and a retreat, but very fun.
Okay, not a bad start. I mean, we kind of have the, the, the double four drop option. You know, these are clearly a bit redundant with one another, which we might determine is a weakness, but I, I, I think it's an advantage. I think it's actually good a good thing for us. Uh, yeah, the armor here is fine. I mean, presumably we'll be able to do our stuff right or left. We really just, well, we actually don't even really need a Black Panther. White Tiger is a great follow up to the symbiote spider-man i think still taskmaster for them that's brutal dude that sucks uh oh. <laughs> that is the worst roll i've ever seen i can't believe it yeah we have the full combo here so we are like super exposed to shang chi this game though so we do need to be a little bit careful like if we do this this because between the infinite especially uh, maybe they'll play it early though. Like maybe they'll show their hand a little bit or maybe we Maybe we just don't risk it. Maybe we just do the white tiger because we think we're more ahead, right? I mean these vibraniums just really don't matter I guess I'd rather have small power here and big power here if we go for the Artem Zola, right? Uh, since they already have some power, right? Maybe this is the Shang-Chi now and we feel really good. It's not and it's our Artem Zola gone. What an absolute jerk wow suddenly i'm very annoyed we might actually need um odin now depends on where these eights roll they both roll mid like forget it we're screwed i uh oh no i didn't jinx it did i oh, don't tell me i jinxed it no don't tell me i jinxed it no dude why why dude i jinxed it Ah. Uh such a good play but it's like it's so exposed to this uh i mean yeah i guess i guess the pig ruined our day huh uh, 12 to 10 and 7 to 0 you really don't feel good about this i especially am worried about like shang chi plus two drop or something you know like that's what makes me nervous like shang chi here two drop here but even like i don't know is it like black bolt left and a one drop right is maybe exposed a little bit okay that's Wakanda forever. Nervous. what is that spider ham again okay and cannibal oh, cannibal's fine yeah no that's not a problem they were just hoping i guess to hit that mid and be big enough there where do these spider hams come from by the way I, 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 why do you have so many spider hams where is this from oh cable that's my spider ham that's my spider ham from the cable. Are you kidding me? Ruin my day. We actually got there though, still. It's all right. Spider Man stats saving us. All right, this is a decent little start. Uh, the Odin's not really the good follow up on these typically. Like, you don't really trust that big of a commitment unless Nexus or something hits. Odin's really there for the Wong follow up. I could make an argument that you don't need Odin in this deck, but it just felt wrong to lose wong white tiger odin as a as a through line like today you know we're really excited to do spider-man black panther stuff because it's brand new but i i think there will definitely come games and, and moments where you're just quite happy to play wong tiger odin that is an old school combo but it's severely underrated and still very very good uh we're gonna go spider-man for now because it's new but i don't hate playing the wong over it because it's still pretty great with black panther and gives you that better white tiger draw because right now we don't have the best white tiger like this is worse with white tiger odin wong white tiger odin is much better so if you hit the white tiger here instead of an artem zola like this doesn't give you as many good outs basically double werewolf is kind of wild yeah we sadly hit the white tiger so this is like we said the wong here safer safer play we, we get the unsafe play here unfortunately it's not that it's a bad play necessarily i mean we could trust the one in five Artem Zola, but it just, it, it's just not right. It's just wrong to do that. Did that go through? And yeah, make sure you see that, that, that yellow glow. Cause that, that, I thought that went through at first and then it just didn't. I mean, I guess we want the tigers to spread here a little bit. Although I don't know, we're pretty strong mid. So being strong, right. It's not necessarily a problem. The werewolves might get staggered a bit as their board naturally starts to fill up a bit. Um, the hoods should we only get one more tiger off this odin oh we hit the arnim zola 
No, this game has been an absolute calamity, dude. An absolute calamity. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is this is only a 16 power play, which is, you know, a 616 doesn't sound bad, but it's not really going to be enough, I'd, I'd say. It might be true, though, that their power gets pretty isolated in one spot. They didn't really fill their board a lot, so bring both werewolves back here and then a tiger missing here could do it you know play, play a two three here oh god okay they're gonna leave Are the werewolves i think worthy. that's actually pretty cool oh that might be an off i don't know though three cards is pretty hard to beat pinpoint lead oh acid arrow okay that actually lets a werewolf move though does that win me mid at all no this is actually pretty genius from them. this was the perfect way to stagger the werewolves acid arrow was like a home run hit crazy dude I, we had the high roll too is what's annoying although we might have lost priority and then acid arrow might have beat us but i don't know we wouldn't have any cards here we only had i guess we had two spots so no we would have been fine monster island okay yeah it's fine we need an open spot potentially for spider-man stuff i am not drawing spider-man nearly as much as i want to guys we're getting wong a lot instead which it's great to have a backup i'm not mad oh double wong in hand good god uh okay this is just <laughs> this is just a long long game uh hopefully find like a white tiger or something right uh, we don't do anything fancy here i guess uh spider-man is also still very good if i get a black panther i'm gonna be really tempted but oh spider-man for the opponent okay uh they got the zabu action on it i wonder why they want it down early I mean, I, I, this really, really, really feels like a, uh, I really want the Wong, double Wong, right? But the current problem is I don't have a follow-up. Like, you know, Spider-Man is no good. I got to hit one of my fives. It's really not even that likely. It's the problem. Oh, I like the, the Simbi Spider-Man Gwyn pool. This is cool. The double four here. Uh, there's a five. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now we're happy. Uh, I'm kind of like just full though here is part of the problem. The Odin's maybe a little bit overkill. We don't really win right, so... Uh, if we, if, I, I, do we trust double tiger left? Uh, sort of? Oh my god, dude. I love this. They are just loaded up. This is fun, dude. I don't know. I'm, I'm, even if we lose, I don't care. I want to see how jacked this card gets. Whatever it is. I mean, it, it's a 15-point lead left, which feels good, but it's not like... go. Insurmountably good. Oh, this is actually a pretty fun pivot because maybe they're maybe they're expecting to be kind of safe here, but suddenly this becomes a, a nice big threat compared to like the Odin or whatever. And you're still solid mid to like you have 15 and 15 point leads. Like this is pretty cool. Sad we didn't get to do our Spider-Man stuff, but you know Spider-Man on a Wong is just not not useful. It's still just one Wong, slightly bigger Wong. Like you're getting double Wongs out of it. So pivot here I think was pretty cool. I like seeing this opponent Spider-Man in action though at least. Uh, so how big is this panther actually is going to 16 right so yeah, it's not like that big oh no he's going to 32 no of course no he goes to eight on his own 16 off the one long yeah he's he's definitely big enough to carry yeah dude i'm sorry we didn't get to see like how big was like they have what uh four cards in hand they got you know six well i don't know why they didn't activate spider-man though i wonder what they're waiting on is there something going to happen here on turn six because i would have tried to hit another like Gwynpool buff cycle you know maybe they wanted the stark tower buff i guess but it would have been cool to have 18 power and buffs in your hand like that's crazy that hits like a brood or something <laughs> dude that looks like a really fun deck idea i don't know like brood and sebastian shaw in hand would just go crazy okay not a lot of space to work for arnim zola this game Kind of a big commitment here, but theoretically you only need one spot for good uh, Symbiote Spider-Man stuff. But for Wong Panther stuff, you do kind of need two spots, but I'm trusting the Symbiote Spider-Man draws. Oh God, we're running out of locations to play, man. They are super full mid though. Uh, so they, they got Loki, so they can definitely piece together a combo for me. Like they've already started with Wong, great. They're gonna rapidly run out of space too though. Oh, bro, they are cooked. So are we, though. Uh, so White Tiger always sends a tiger here. It's a pretty decent lead, but it's not a not a, a certain lead by any means. Uh, do we need to wait? Boy, maybe. The, 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 the Simbi Spider-Man, though, is just totally dead this game. 
Dude, opponent has like nowhere to play. This is this is kind of crazy. I, I mean, eight's probably the biggest card I can get here, though. Is the thing it just in this in this given game state? I, I think eight's the biggest. So maybe we just commit to this now. Avengers. Captain America. Whoa. And five. I still want to play here. Something bigger, hopefully. Yeah, this like we said, this always hits the ninja, but I could technically oh well it won't matter though, because it'll be into turn six, so it's gonna be too late to matter. Um do I just slam an Odin right? That's kind of the same as a, a white tiger rolling right, so I don't know, maybe the surprise factor of Odin mid on the final turn is a little bit better. The opponent though could play a white tiger here. Although no, we stole their white tiger, so no, they don't have a white tiger thinking about can they win left you know mobius is disruptive is, is one potential upside like if you mobius maybe mess up their turn and you odin here because you think you're still gonna win mid always yeah i guess that's technically a little better this is also just more total power if you want to do that too there's an angle there as well but maybe maybe the mobius disruption oh my god the savage land dude are you kidding me <laughs> that is sick okay thankfully we play I, mean, I guess we still would have won right i think we were ahead anyway but um well now i kind of want to look at this because like this is just the most power Victory. i don't think they have a well they could play an odin right and that would be eight to r9 and that would win but then they wouldn't have any energy to play left because we know mobius you know disrupts any of those discounts so yeah what a weird game dude what a weird game this body size here actually mattered kind of lizard that sucks this looks like a bot deck right uh spider hams no problem yeah i guess left is clintar we don't really want to put uh symbiote spider-man there so let's let's actually load up clintar cosmo turned off that's good all right we like to see that uh copycat left is actually pretty great i don't know if we need a mobius or not against a bot i don't think so let's actually snap while they're ahead here i don't, I don't think it's uh copycat here i think symbiote spider-man mid into either five drop i mean god, let's hope to god we hit one of our five drops by the time we get to five we got a few turns here yeah clearly a bot you don't want to play mr fantastic into Clintar. I mean, even if we don't hit a five, I guess White Widow is not a disaster. It's it's not great, but it's not a disaster, I guess. Like you, you can, you, you're not the maddest if you, you know, Arnim Zola eight power that, oh, but that's better though. <laughs> we like this more. So Spider-Man activated, White Tiger, bada boom. Hopefully the eights split here. Although I guess even if they go left, with them not having played to kill him at all, the Arnim Zola is still going to result in a, at least. Uh, oh, never mind. Seven right is no longer enough. Happy to see a tiger there. Yeah, the other one going left would be ideal. Yeah, that's actually kind of overkill now. We're a little bit exposed left, technically. We're going to have kind of overkill right hopefully that eight runs there because 13 it does feel like 13 could be too too small left we might need the the spider-man that goes right to send a tiger left although this is a bot so it looks like maybe they're gonna they're gonna be bad oh dude the worst tiger rolls and behold my mighty hand. oh okay the onslaught kind of required a little more help but not really we, we had so much already Thankfully, they didn't have anything left. Yeah, I think a human game, this would have been pretty bad. Like, this is a lot of total power output. As you can see, like, our final three turns resulted in what? Like, 24, 32, and 14, 46 power over the final three turns. Like, that's pretty good. Uh, it's not as much as Panther, obviously, but it's still a lot of just bodies, and it's, like, not resist, you know, not Shang-Chi exposed or anything. But it's just hard to get the power where you want it. It's, it's very haphazard power, which is not always valuable. Okay, we got the cats on five. This deck loves cats and hates Cosmo. It's definitely the cat people deck. <laughs> it's not the dog people deck. Although I, I really think a Cosmo in here might be a good fit. I, I think it's okay if you get a 28 power, uh, you know, symbiote Spider-Man that doesn't double to 56 or something and it's still protected by Shang-Chi. But the odds of hitting both armor and Cosmo together are pretty slim, so I don't know if that's really worth it or not. So, um, from a win condition standpoint, like, 
Do we just trust the big stuff? I think we might actually kind of need to trust the big stuff, maybe. Uh, the problem is this is the thing. Like, we might end up with Comertage here and then not really be able to go there anyway. But if Comertage rolls right, then this is kind of fine to take advantage of now, I guess. So maybe this is right. We just hope Comertage rolls right in this case. And then we have a really nice, you know, disruption left. I will say Black Knight decks typically can go like with a really big singular target and still kind of disrupt you. So it may not really help or make much difference. So we definitely want to hit one of our four drops here. I, I, I obviously want Symbi Spider-Man because he's new and fun. No target. Oh my God. Does that mean only six drops in hand? I think so. Yeah. I didn't even see what we hit with the ham. I totally, oh yeah, I did Sif. That's right. Yeah, so unfortunately no four drop, but Panther into Zola, if we hit Convertage right in particular, is gonna be totally fine. Magneto gone for the Black Knight, sure. What is this gonna be, the Black Knight card? Yeah, just discards the Ebony Blade. Yeah, I don't think you could play the Blade there if you want that anyway. Oh, the Convertage rolls right, okay. So this is still pretty great. I guess if we lose the Arnim Zola mid though, we're pretty sad, aren't we? In that case, I guess we just trust the White Tigers. Because you're still pretty strong. Still pretty strong right? If we do get a white tiger mid that hits right as well, we're a little bit in trouble. Odin is actually fine. The ham is maybe even good. Unless it's Infinite. Hulkling, okay. We, I guess we'll never know what that was. Now they might have a Hella, but I don't think that beats Zola Panther, right? We're going to 32 and 32. That seems kind of insurmountable. They have a four point lead mid, but that's still a 28 point lead mid. So that would be fine. I just don't think this ever loses, one right? Aids, two more shall take its one cheese stuff only, I guess. Wakanda Even forever. that might be hard. Yeah, there's the hell of Minions so. shouldn't to be, shouldn't me. Be are the future. Minions the blade makes more sense like this. Just not enough. Victory. Okay, so no Spider-Man, but a good backup game. Comertage kind of filled in the gaps. That's nice. <sighs> this looks like a bot game. Uh, let's Iceman first, I guess. Spider Ham's fine. Oh, Elysium, okay. Juggernaut, I don't really see us using much. So, Zola, you know, we just need to draw well here. We could have a great, great little line. This is funny because it's going to get great webbed anyway. It makes no difference. Hobgoblin is just a four negative eight. You love this. I guess I got to snap by the way. Uh, you love to see that. Yeah, White Widow, that's fine. I guess do we just do this here? It's going to get pulled in anyway is the problem. 10 doesn't feel like a lot. Kind of helps, I guess, if there's a negative three or a zero at least. It'll probably always be zero. This makes it a little bit hard for me to win for the record, but... Oh crap, makes it really hard for me to win. Good lord. Uh, they just need any card now and they win that. That's scary. I will say their next card is kind of dead, like whatever they play from here, because they're going to win this anyway with literally any card. So they do perhaps get a little bit stuck here. Uh, yeah, Simi Spider Man here is fine. We'll get another White Tiger. It'd be kind of nice to have an Odin, I guess, maybe. Just to have some some media, medium sized power mid. You, you're loaded up on tigers right in that case, which is kind of overkill. But... Storm. Wind, yeah, okay. aid my hand. These are really tiny, whatever they are. Oh, Maximus is not that tiny, unfortunately. Jeez. Kind of, kind of dick. Oh, bro! Who's gonna give me left? These bots are wonderful, dude. I love these freaking bots, dude. So that gives us that white tiger. Then we just Arnim Zola, and then we're gonna get seven here at least, maybe another eight. Like this should be totally fine. We got a pretty big lead right in that case too, because we're at least at 18. Yeah, no, these bots, dude. Love these bots. Love these freaking bots, dude. Thank you, Spider-Man. Thank you, Spider-Man. We're getting at least seven, which is enough. And then hopefully another another eight over there left. But might win, might win mid if we don't get it left, so. Oh, yeah, that's future. fine. Okay, 19's exactly right. Thank you. Copycat would have been a little risky getting moved, but we would have won mid even more, so kind of fine. Thank Victory. you, Bot. 
Appreciate your cubes. Thank you for the donation. Pretty fun Spider-Man game.